Hello again. As you can recall from our last session, we talked about some of the influences of art. Well, this time, we're going to actually go into what some of the artists actually did. Art really can change the lives of individuals so long as people allow themselves to be. By looking at the past, we can clearly see that this has been done. If we can recall some of the works that we looked at earlier on, such as Edward Monk and The Scream, we talked about some of the elements and principles of art and how that correlates with what artworks were produced by Edward Monk and various others. This time, we'll, we will be focusing on the Renaissance, looking at such artists as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and the various other artists during this time. Now, one thing to remember is that these artists were highly influenced by church and state in what they produced. One prime example was Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. Here, if one is to look carefully at the subject matter, one could tell that Christianity was one of the prime religious, religious institutions. It's clearly seen in his work, the main subject matter being Jesus Christ. At a sacramental table, instituting the sacred emblems of his death being bread and wine. The technique used in producing this particular piece was done in the more stylized procedure of the time that focused on the development of the human figure. For this assignment you will be asked to look at some of the artists in the Renaissance. Pick two of them, and then explain in your own words how their works have influenced you in your life. Later on, you will be asked to research on two of these artists and make a digital story explaining how the Renaissance has influenced the world. Other works of art have evolved from this era known as primarily as Baroque, Dada, Cubism, and many of the other art forms that exist in our day. As art continues to form and evolve, others, not in power or institutions of higher learning alone, but also the common man, have been influenced in what he or she views art to be.